morning. Happy Tuesday. I am finishing up a run. I'm just walking to cool down. And I was thinking about you. I, on my run walks, like to listen to Tony Robbins priming. I totally recommend it. It's like 15 minutes of um, just getting your head in the right space. It's like three minutes, three to five minutes of um, like gratitude, three to five minutes of prayer, and then three to five minutes of like setting goals and expectations. So hi, good morning. Tell me what you're up to. I just want to say, hey, talking about um, Tony Robbins priming. If you go on YouTube and you put in Tony Robbins priming, just a great way first thing in the morning to get your head in a really good space. And I was going through the exercise and it's funny how a lot of times when you set intentions or goals, like let's say you're going into a new season and you want to be a better version of yourself. Um, but there's like this voice in your subconscious that reminds you of your failures. Like give me some hearts in the comments. If you feel that where you like are like, I'm, you know, I'm going for a new goal or a new version of me, or like you're pushing to be a better version of yourself. And then like, you keep thinking, well, remember that one time that you quit on yourself. Remember that one time where your business fell apart or remember that one time you're going for a wellness goal and then you ate all the cookies in the pantry or remember that one time you did a race and then you gave up, you know, like give me hearts. If you, that resonates where you just think about maybe your failures. And I guess I just want to tell you as an encouragement and give you permission, like, you can always start again. A little bit of my story, um, as I was doing my gratitude time during that Tony Robbins segment, I was thinking about Everett. So my boy Everett, sitting in the stroller right here, he just turned four, and I was thinking about his birthday and how just just grateful I was to have his friends around. And, um, and then I was thinking about how his birth, and it was my first home birth, and that birth experience was by far my best birth experience um, because Joe was wor Joe was not working. He was actually home. We were living full time on my money income and he was training and he was home for the birth. And like during that whole postpartum time, he was there. He was the one who was um, taking him on walks at lunchtime so mommy could have a breather. He was helping me in the mornings. He was just like r around more and you know, Unfortunately, we hit 2020, which was a tough season, and we moved somewhere where the cost of living is higher, and Joe wasn't able to train because races aren't, weren't existent, and um, I got pregnant with Harper and was super sick. I had some business challenges. Like, we just were hit, like, left and right with really challenging things, and we made the difficult choice for Joe to go back to work, um, and, you know, he's been an engineer here in Florida ever since, and, um, you know, as I was thinking about that season with Everett, I might get emotional. I was just thinking about how um, I want our, our family to have that blessing again. I was just thinking about how our kids are growing up, you know, like the fact that my youngest kid is two. I don't have babies anymore. My daughter is going to be eight this year. Um, they're in this phase right now where they just love being with mom and dad. And I just want to capitalize that on that as much as possible. And um, I guess I hope I'm just telling you this. I hope it I hope it resonates with you in the fact of if you kind of are in this season I feel like I just want to normalize like there's it's okay to feel like gratitude for where you are but also wanting things to be better I actually think it's really healthy to have a little bit of like emotion around like wanting better because that's going to be what drives you to be better right like if everything was good and perfect would you strive to be better you know you know, if you're just content, you probably just stay the same. And a lot of times when you stay the same, you go backwards. So, um, sometimes those emotions we look at as negative. Like I told you, I think about where we were when Everett was born and I think about where we are now, like, Oh, well, Joe wasn't working then he is working now. Therefore, is that some form of failure? And the reality is if you look at it that way, think about the emotions and actions that come from that space, like seeing that emotion is negative, you know, instead what if I use that emotion to fuel me? You know, what if I said, yeah, I, I, I want Joe to be home more. I'm so grateful that Joe gave me the gift to be home with our kids and to build my business. And he was our security blanket while I could take big risks. And now I want to give him that gift. I want to be our family's security blanket to give him the permission to chase the things that he wants to chase. And the fact that I'm I don't want to say discontent, but I want more of our situation is actually a gift because it's going to be what fuels me to take the action I need to take for that to happen for our family. Do you hear what I'm saying? So the encouragement I want to give you is if you're rebuilding right now and you have some form of, 
um, challenging emotions, sadness, anger, frustration around your past, what if you could reframe those emotions to be the fuel to help you achieve your goal? You know, now I want to sit down today and get work thinking about how I want to create a better future for our family. I want to think about the blessing that my business has been to my family and how I want to give that gift to other people. You know, I think of myself as, you know, if I would have never pursued online business, I would be teaching full time in the classroom right now. These two would be in daycare. Um, you know, things would be more tight financially and taking that leap brought so much good to our family. It let us dream so much more. And now I want to give that to other people. You know, I want to allow, I want other moms to see you have options. That's what I feel like every mom or every family, baby, can you put that back up, please press the button. <laughs> can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> I want, I think at the end of the day, I just want families to know they have options. You know, like if moms want to work, that's great. If moms want to be home, that's great. If moms want a little bit of both, that's great. But ultimately I want the moms to be able to choose. And the same thing with the husbands. I think a lot of times the moms get to choose first and the husband, not always, but you know, kind of brings in the stable income. And then you kind of get to this next step of like, man, I want to give my husband the option to choose. If he wants to work, that's great. If he doesn't want to, I want to give him that option. If he wants to do a little bit of both, we just want to have the choice, not the have to, I have to do this. This is what our family has to do. Um, you always want it to be something you want to do and you're excited to do and it's a choice, you know? So hope that was an encouragement to you today. Just to know that take those feelings of your past and use them to fuel a better future for your family. And then if you need just some type of structure to help reframe your emotions and thoughts a little bit, Tony Robbins priming is really good. If you want me to just DM the link to you, just, um, put priming in my comments and I can send you the link. It's so good. Like I said, it's 15 minutes. It's just a great way to get your head space in the right space in the morning. So this resonated with you and all go ahead and just comment and tell me, I want to know what you're working towards. I'd love to give you some like goal coaching. Anytime you comment, I think I can reply like with a reel and give you some coaching. So if there's something like you're working towards or something, some thoughts you want to help reframe, I'd be happy to do that. Um, because like, I just feel like 2023 is going to be a breakthrough year for a lot of us. We went through a lot of challenging things and we've built a tougher foundation. We've become more wise. We've become stronger and now we're going to use it to be a better version of ourselves. So I love you friends. Thanks for coming to my walk with me. Um, comment priming if you want it and comment your goals or your reframe. And I would love to help talk to you soon.